hello guys welcome and welcome back to Ricky's kitchen today I'm going to show you how to make this tasty and easy mat on Monday if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please please kindly do so you don't get to miss any of my videos each and every week then stay tuned to enjoy my recipe so on today's ingredients, you're going to need some meat, I've used mutton or you can use any meat that you prefer, 3 to 4 tablespoons of cooking oil, 1 lemon or you can use a lime, 2 tablespoons of ginger and garlic pastes, then I have different types of spices, you can add or you can reduce some spices. I'm going to use 1 tablespoon of paprika powder, 1 tablespoon of garam masala, 1 tablespoon of meat spices, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, some salt to taste and lastly 1 teaspoon of black pepper. So the first step we are going to make our marinade. You are going to take a medium small bowl and add all the spices. Then you're going to add ginger and garlic paste, 3 to 4 tablespoons of cooking oil and lastly 1 lemon or you can use a lime. And mix all the ingredients very well. Afterwards, you're going to take your meat, make sure you've washed your meat and dry the meat completely using a kitchen towel or a clean cloth. As you can see in the video, my meat has a lot of fat, so I'm going to get rid of the fat. The next step, you're going to take a knife and stab the meat all around as you can see in the video. This is so important because when you're applying the spices so that the spices can blend in well with the meat. Once you're done, you're going to apply the marinade around the meat, do not miss any spot. After applying the marinade around the meat, using a cling foil, you're going to cover the meat and place it in the fridge or a cold place for approximately 3 hours or more. After 3 hours of marination, uncover the meat and it's high time to bake our meat in the oven. Place the meat on aluminium foil and apply or brush some oil around the meat. Then afterwards, cover the meat properly using the aluminium foil. Then afterwards, you're going to place the meat in a preheated oven. Make sure you place a tray with some water as you can see in the video. Because this is so important when the meat is baking in the oven, the vapor gets into the meat and the meat gets more soft and tender. You're going to bake the meat at 180 degrees Celsius for 3 hours. Ingredients in making Monday rice you're going to need 2 cups of rice, I've used basmati or you can use any rice that you prefer. Then I'm going to use 3 pieces of bay leaves, 10 pieces of paper corn, 5 pieces of cardamom, small pieces of cinnamon sticks, 7 to 10 pieces of cloves, 
one chicken cube of used jumbo or you can use any brand that you have one jalapeno green paper two medium slices of onions orange food coloring optional you don't have to use it then i have two different types of almonds peeled one and whole ones then i'm going to use some raisins one teaspoon of turmeric powder and some salt to taste the first step make sure you've rinsed the rice thoroughly then afterwards you're going to pour some water with one teaspoon of turmeric powder and soak the rice for approximately 20 to 30 minutes after 20 to 30 minutes it's high time to make our mandi rice you're going to pour a quarter cup of cooking oil and let the oil to heat up. Once the oil is hot, you're going to add the pieces of bay leaves, cardamom, cinnamon, cloves and peppercorn and cook them for approximately 1 to 2 minutes. After 1 to 2 minutes, you're going to add the onions and cook the onions till golden brown. Sorry, I couldn't able to record that part where I added two pieces of garlic and one chicken cube. Then afterwards, you're going to add the rice. Make sure you've at least rinsed the rice two times before placing it into the pot. Then you're going to pour 3 cups of water and stir the rice, then cover to let the rice to cook on a medium heat. Once the water starts to become less, Open the lid and stir the rice once more. Then cover the rice to let it to cook until the water is completely dry. Meanwhile, you're going to take a small bowl and add a quarter teaspoon of orange food coloring and dilute it with some water. Lastly, you're going to drizzle the orange food coloring optional, you don't have to do this step, or you can also use some zafran. Then cover and let the rice to cook on a low heat for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, the water has dried completely and the rice is nicely cooked, as you can see in the video. Mix the rice once more and slowly to avoid from breaking it. Then cover the rice and let it to cool down before serving it. Lastly, our next step, you're going to take a medium small bowl, then add the raisins with almonds, then pour some water and soak them for at least 5 to 10 minutes. After soaking the raisins and almonds, the next step, you're going to take a pan or a pot and pour approximately 3 tablespoons of oil and let the oil to heat up. Once the oil is a bit hot, you're going to add 1 tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste and give a quick mix. Then afterwards, you're going to add the soaked raisins and almonds with the jalapeno paper and stir for approximately 3 to 5 minutes. After 3 to 5 minutes, our dry foods and the jalapeno is ready and remove it out from the heat.
and it's high time to serve our mandi rice. Make sure the mandi rice has cooled on for approximately 5 to 10 minutes before serving it. Once the rice has cooled on, serve the rice on a large plate. After 3 hours of baking, our meat is ready as you can see in the video. I'm going to uncover it so you can able to see how the meat looks. Like look how soft the meat looks. You're going to take a serving spoon and remove the meat out from the foil and place it on top of the rice. After removing the meat out from the foil, there'll be some soup left in the aluminium foil. You're going to take a small bowl and place the soup into the small bowl. Lastly but not least, you're going to take the roasted raisins and almonds with the jalapeno and place them on top of the rice as you can see in the video. Lastly, I'm going to decorate or to garnish my mandi with some slices of lemon or you can use slices of lime and our mandi rice will be ready. And our tasty mutton mandi rice is ready as you can see in the video. You're going to drizzle the soup on top of the meat to make the meat more tender. Like look how soft and tasty this mutton mandi rice looks. Drizzle with a bit of lemon or some lime and enjoy this mutton mandi rice with some cold soda or juice. Thank you for watching my video and hope you loved it. And if you want to see other recipes on how to make different types of rice, I'll put the links in the description box. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below or you can follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram, Rukia's Kitchen, for further questions. And thank you once again. Bye-bye.